Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I want to show y'all a really neat trick that you can do, especially while you're doing the Vault Event or Class Experience Farming, or something that's Mindless, Brainless, Rowan Team, Ironhawk Team. Those are the two teams that this works with. So I want to show you how to play the game without looking at the screen. You don't even have to look at the screen. Um, it's best, it works best if you can kind of see it out of the peripheral vision, but you don't need to. Um, so right now, you'll just have to take my word for it here. I'm not looking at the screen at all. I'm watching 60 Days In, Biggest Fights of All Time. I'm watching that on my laptop, right? So I'm going to play this game right now. I'm not looking at the screen at all, and I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it. First of all, um, you, I'm pretty sure you have to have a controller. Uh, so it probably won't work on mobile. Um... Now, PS4, Xbox, it definitely works on there, especially if your controller vibrates and stuff. Um, and also, we're going to use the sound from the TV as well. Like, um, So what we're going to use is sound and, and our, our sense of touch. So our, our sense of hearing and our sense of touch instead of our, our sight. We're going to use those two senses instead. And if you can see it out of the peripheral vision, it's even better. But I'm going to do it without even seeing the screen at all. Just imagine I have a blindfold on, and I'm going to do this here. But also on PC, you can get controllers. Like, I know you're able to use a controller with your PC, so it's possible on PC as well. I think the only one it's not possible on is mobile. But all right, here we go. So I'm not looking at the screen. I'm just clicking buttons here. X, X is what I clicked. All right. Clicking X. Now I'm waiting for a vibration. All right, there's the vibration, so I know that the battle started, right? Okay, now I'm holding in L1. I'm clicking X. Now I'm holding... I mean, I'm holding in L1, I'm clicking X, and I'm kicking X again. Okay, and I'm going to hold in L1, I'm going to hit triangle, and I'm going to hit X. And that's the battle over. And I can hear that the battle's over, right? So now I'm X, 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 and then I'm waiting for a vibration again. Waiting for that... There it is, there's the vibration. I know the battle has started, so I'm going to hold in L1. I'm going to click X, X... That's supposedly, I think that's my greed. Okay, I hold in L1, I hit triangle, X, that's my dust devil. That the battle should be over. Uh, so now I'm clicking X, 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 X. Now I'm waiting for my vibration. Waiting for that vibration. There it is, vibration, the controller vibrated. Uh, so I'm holding in L1, I'm hitting X, I'm hitting X again. Okay, holding in L1, hitting X, or, or hold, holding in L1, hitting triangle. Did I hit the wrong thing? All right, holding in L1, hit triangle, then hit X. You'll get used to it. Like, the more you do it, you'll get on a roll. And, you know, if you can see out of your peripheral vision, even better. Now, here's a spot where sometimes, at some point, you're going to beat the boss, right? So you're going to have to you're gonna have to hit down. So if whatever, you'll be able to feel when it's happening. So you'll get into a groove where you're doing L1, X, you're feeling the the vibrate, you're hearing you're hearing the battle, you know when the battle starts, when it's not started, when you're casting, when you're not casting, when gems are exploding, when they're not exploding, when the battle's over, like you can hear it, and you don't even have to turn it up very loud, you just need to hear it a little bit, so you can still watch something else. Um, but when it gets stuck and you don't feel that vibrate and you know something's wrong, either that's your cue to look at the screen real quick, or just hit down on your d-pad and then hit x that's what i did there because it's going to do that every once in a while and you're going to get used to it so i knew that that's what was happening so casting my two spells again battle's over i can hear it x x x x waiting for my vibrate all right it vibrated so now l1 x x l1 triangle x battle over i heard the battle is over the victory music. I'm clicking X, 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 X. Right? There's a loading screen, probably. Alright, vibration. L1, X, X. L1, triangle, X. Battle's over. I heard the battle's ending. The victory music. Hitting X, 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 X. Should be loading screen. And you can just tell by the sounds in the game, too, you know? It's mostly your hearing and then your sense of touch with the uh, controller to know that the battle started and nothing went wrong. So, XX, L1, triangle, X. Battle's over. You can do it with Rowan, too. It's just you do your Leprechaun, then you do your Rowan. And you can always tell when something goes wrong, it's just you know that uh, the stuff isn't going in the same order, order as it has been going in. So, I know here I'm going to feel a vibration. Okay, that's that. So now I'm going to hold in L1, X, X. 
L1, triangle X. Boom, I hear the battle. They're all dead. Victory music. XXXX. Now I kind of feel like I need to hit down. Okay, there we go. Pretty sure. Just vibration. Yep, there's the vibration. I'm good. I can also hear the game. I hear greed there. I hear the enemies dying. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's a sense of touch, sense of hearing thing instead of using your eyeballs. And then you can watch something else with your eyeballs while you grind the vault event. Or whatever. If you're grinding class experience, if you're going for cursed gnomes, whatever it may be. And like I said, it's even better if you can kind of go out of your peripheral vision. So, I'll switch to that. Okay, I'm watching... I'm watching YouTube right now. I'm watching 60 Days in Biggest Fights of All Time. Tony, uh, dude in there, white guy, he got his money stolen, and, and they're about to fight about it and everything. So I'm just hitting XXXX on the game, looking at my show right now, looking at my show, looking at my show, looking at my show, looking at my show, you know? I'm just hitting XXXXXXXXX. Still watching my show right now. Like, you don't even have to watch this game. Alright, I'm basically just tapping X a lot and holding an L1, and event, and every once in a while I'm hitting down. Down on the controller. If, if something seems off, like you don't feel the vibration, you don't hear the right music, what you're going to do is push down on the D-pad, then hit X. That means it's time to, uh, to you're, you're done with the, 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 the mini-boss or whatever, so you need to choose your difficulty again. So in that case, you push down. Maybe you need to look at the screen for that, but... Eventually, you won't even have to. Like, I'm not looking at all. I mean, a little bit out of my peripheral now, because I told you I would. But you can even just look at the screen, and then when it's loading, you can look at your show. And, like, if you know that, just to make sure the battle started, maybe uh, look whenever you get re your rewards, that way you know what you got. Like, that's the main downfall to this. Like, you don't really get to see your rewards, or even know if you got a gnome unless you're listening for it. Um, I would say that's the worst thing about it, is not being able to see your rewards and everything, but, hey, if you're grinding for hours and hours and hours and hours, and you're tired of just listening to something and you want to watch something, this is an option. All it takes is a controller that vibrates, and your ears. That's it. And you don't even have to, you can have your, your game on, like, 10% volume and your show on like 50% volume and you can still like hear when something's going wrong or going right But that's what I would recommend if you want to play this game without looking at the screen All you got to do is have a controller that vibrates use your ears and Do this little method here So I'll explain it one more time. We just hit X to get the battle going right it vibrates when the battle starts because that little explosion from greed so then we know that we're gonna hit L1 we're going to hit X, then we're going to hit X again. Now we're going to hit L1, we're going to hit triangle, we're going to hit X again. The battle's over. I hear it. Victory music. Yay! You know? Swoosh, 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 swoosh. I know the battle's over, right? Now here, it's not seeming right, so I'm going to push down. Boom, boom, boom. Should be good to go. That's the only place where you'll get stuck. Or if uh, Lord of Slaughter, for some reason, because I'm in Wild Plains right now, farming with Ironhawks, and if Lord of Slaughter comes in there and, and I can't kill him in one shot, then I might have to look at the screen in that one instance, because I'm like, oops, somebody didn't die. The battle's not over. But other than that, it's just like when you finish up with a mini-boss and you have to hit the... You'll even, you, you won't even have to look at eventually, because you'll know, like, oh, this, this is the time when I hit down on the D-pad. But yeah, just, I heard that I got a gnome there. Boom. So I probably want to, I'm going to look at the screen because I want to see what I got. A verse. Okay. But yeah, so you can play this game without even looking at the screen. Why is that good? It's good because if you're grinding for hours and hours and hours and hours and on something like Vault Event or Class Experience or Cursed Gnomes or whatever you're doing that's easy with Ironhawk or Rowan, you can watch watch something else without even looking at the screen at all. Or if you're not that good, you can just be, you know, kind of peripheral vision type of a deal. All you really need is your hearing and your vibrating controller. That's all you really need to know that you're doing the right thing over and over and over. The button presses, you'll get used to it. It's the same thing. Just try it. Just try it. Put it in the comments. Say, hey, I tried it and it works. And hey, I'm able to watch my shows now instead of staring at the screen. Thanks a lot. You know, say something like that. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. How to play the game without looking at the screen. 
please like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guilt about the channel, comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.